Disney team, welcome back to Canva Tip Weekly. If you've been wondering where I've been, I sold a house in the last two weeks. It was actually really stressful and kind of hard. There's a lot to do in selling a house. So I appreciate your patience as I uh, try to navigate my way through recording these videos for all of you guys. Today is a great one. I'm hoping to clear up some template back and forth. Let's talk about template, 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 templates. There are three different types of templates in Canva and they all use the same terminology. Do I wish they were called something else? Yes, but do you see a swimming pool full of money behind me? No, because I am not the Canva CEO, though I wish I was because I would take a little dunk in my dollar bills, but I am not. So don't shoot the messenger. I am just the person walking through it. I wish they were called something different. There's three different ways to use the word template. Template. A template basically means something that can be reused um, or will change to be where you can use it and not affect the original. So there's an original copy and then there's templates, right? That's going to be the big terminology when it comes to templates. I'm going to go through the easiest one, the weirdest one, and then the one you guys all know and love. First up, the first type of template is just Canva's templates. Canva's templates. When you go to canva.com and let's say you want to start something, look at all this junk I've gotten here. Let's say you want to start something. You are like, oh, where do I go? I really want Instagram posts or I need a presentation. Over here, let's go. Boop, 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 boop. Over here, you're going to see templates. Now these are Canva's internal templates. These are Canva's templates, right? So once we're in here, um, yay, Pride Month is next month. Um, once you're in here, you're going to see these are preset Canva templates. If you're on Canva Pro, you're going to see the little crown and you're able to use all these cool templates. I love Canva's templates. I think they're great. I think if you need a quick flyer or uh, a story or even these awesome docs you can start with, um, there's a lot of really cool stuff. Reels, for example, um, I know Reels are something everybody struggles with. Look at all these cool reels that you can grab and use. It's pretty cool. Now, what's going to happen when you click on one of these? Let's say uh, I love this like skincare one. You're going to see customize this template and you're going to see the title of it here. When you click customize this template, it's going to open up in your Canva account and it's going to have the, the title up here. I recommend changing this so that you can keep track of it. But then you're able to use this and replace the videos as you like. So this is a Canva template. This is Canva has given it to you. And look over here on the side. If you decided, you know what, actually I hate this template, then there's a lot of other ones that you can do. In particular, I'm going to delete all of this. It's very funny. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a lot of these. I actually think that this one's really cute. So you can see how I clicked on that and it applied it into this Canva document. I think this one works really well. Don't forget in the top right, you can click the play. Oh gosh, that had sound. My goodness gracious. Um, let's turn that off and try that again. Okay, whatever. Uh, so this one already came with sound, which is, which is kind of cool. Awesome. Um, so this is what a template is. Canva's templates. That is style number one. Flavor number two is something that I'm going to be getting into in a future video, but it's been a really weird thing for me, is Canva's brand templates. Your brand templates. So let's say you're like me, you have a virtual assistant, you have a design team. If you don't have any of those things and you can still use brand templates, uh, brand templates are going to be over here. Um, when we come back to Canva, this is how you log in, you're going to come over here to Brand Hub. Now remember, the Brand Kit changed to Brand Hub and now there's Brand Kit, Brand Templates, Brand Controls, right? My Brand Kit has my two different logos. Uh, this is dead, I don't know why I still have it. Now you're gonna see there's Brand Templates and check it out, I have two. I have Story Backgrounds to just already have pre-populated backgrounds and I have Basic Instagram Post. Right? So that way, if I ever need to start something, it's already got my font and my little subheader and my terrazzo pattern. So let's see what happens when I click on this. Something fancy happens. I can use this template that I created or I can edit the original, right? Here's what happens when I click use this template. It's really cool. 
and my internet's like, <laughs> drum roll please, it immediately says copy of basic IG post. Immediately. It is a copy of the basic IG post. So let's say I want to change this to my brand green and then I want to change the color here and then change this to, I don't know, something else, right? Ta-da, now I have changed this. You know what I'm gonna do? Immediately, once I'm done, I'm gonna hit file, save to folder, and I'm gonna put it in Let's Go Social. Y'all didn't think I forgot about folders now. Put it in my folder. Then if we come back over here to brand templates, you're going to see that did not affect my original template. That created a duplicate for me to be able to use, right? So my basic IG post still is here and still exists, but it'll automatically make a copy for you so that you can do um, replicate. So this is a great way to set up uh, your fonts and your styles. Great for Pinterest pins if you do a lot of pinning. Uh, great for like having story backgrounds and starting new things or lots of documents. But these are your brand templates. It's basically Canva's way of giving you templates for you to use internally, right? It's going to be great for large teams so that your teams can um, use uh, templates to create and the fonts and the, the colors and things are already there. You might be asking, Olivia, what's the difference between this and just making a copy of things? There's not really one. This is just a more formal way of making a copy of an original design. It's a pretty, pretty neat uh, concept. It's pretty awesome in general. Um, you can also come over here to design control and control a few things if you have large teams. You can restrict your team's access to only be able to use your colors. You can also restrict your team's access to only be able to use your fonts. And you can uh, turn on design approval. That's a future video. But brand templates are your internal templates that you create. Let's go over creating one really quickly. You'll add, you'll click add new up here. Uh, and then of course you get to pick anything. So I'm actually going to start a reel because I have a specific reel format. A lot of really cool things are going to happen. I'm not going to get too into this because I'm going to do um, a future video on this, but I'm going to go ahead and just stick my logo in here. And then you're going to see there's a button up here called publish as brand template. And it's actually going to say like, hey, like there's some issues in this template. Do you want to make sure that this is aligning your color with your brand kit or blah, blah, blah. We're going to ignore these for now and do this in a future video. It is going to add it to a folder, brand templates, hit publish. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool feature. Um, it does take a minute for it to show up here in your brand templates. These took like 15 minutes to show up. So if you don't see them here yet, you will. So that is the second type of template within Canva. First is Canva's templates, second is your brand templates, and then if things weren't confusing enough, here is what we all know and love, saving as an external template. I know. Why is it called this? I don't know, because you've got brand template, you've got template link, you've got Canva templates, I know. When you save documents, as templates to give to others and you get this template link, it allows them to have a copy of your design. That is how places like your template club, my affiliate link will be in the YouTube, uh, provides you with templates, right? So if you come over here to shop separate packs, let's say you purchase one of her awesome um, read the caption reels. These are really cool reels and you're like, yeah, um, they are really, really, really cool. Sometimes I design for them because um, I know this uh, creator. Basically, when she she creates these in her account and then she clicks the create template link and then she provides and then everyone is able to use them. So let me show you how to do this. So of course, I'm not going to show you how to do a template link without giving you a template. So I'm going to give you one of my favorite ones that I don't know why this looks like this, but here we all are. So this is one of my favorite. What is happening here? Come on, Olivia. Um, this is one of my favorite templates that I give people and it's document mockups. So if you've got a lead magnet or, you know, a workbook or something, this is a really fun template for you to be able to come in here and place, place your PNGs. So what you'll do is you'll download your lead magnet or what have you as PNGs and then re-upload them into Canva, right? It's a really cool thing. So I'm going to give this to you guys. You can show off pages. If you stick around at the end of this video, I'll do a little how to. 
Um, but basically for me to give all of you guys this template, right? Not a Canva template over here, not my internal brand template, but to give you guys this template, it's gonna give you every single page in this. I'm gonna come up here to share and then grab the snazzy template link. Anyone with this link could use this design as a template sign is required, but you won't know who has made copies of the design. That's okay. So I'm going to click copy right here and it will be in the YouTube uh, links and in my newsletter. So you're going to be able to click on that and see what happens when you click on it, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go into somebody else's Canva account. Um, I'm gonna switch over to my friend Amy's because she's not gonna care. And then I'm gonna, now that I'm in her account, I'm gonna create this right here. And it's gonna say, hey, a template was created by Let's Go Studio. Start designing now. So when I click use template in Amy's account, it's going to open up fresh and it should say copy. Here we go, copy of Let's Go document mockups. Now, something else cool that's going to happen is over here on my end, once I go back to Let's Go Studio, let's go back. Yes, I know I have a lot of clients. I'm successful. Um, great, let's see here. Now, uh, when I'm gonna refresh this document to make sure it knows I'm here. Now, you can actually see statistics of all of your templates. So I'm gonna click right here and see, wow, okay, I have apparently shared this before. <laughs> I certainly didn't click on it 67 times in the last second, and it'll be higher now. I guess I've shared this more than I've thought. Um, you actually can see how many people have used this template. It's really cool. Um, share the design to social media, unique links to be able to, um, so this is going to be like if I wanted to put this in a blog post or put it in a marketing email, which I'm probably going to try this link here. Let's do that. That's kind of cool. Huh. Okay. Um, then you can track how many people have seen it. So that's the third type of template. Really cool. Do I know why they decided to do this? No, of course not. I, I wish the terminology was different. I wish it was called like internal brand sets or like Canva designs or external templates, uh, what have you. But hopefully this clears these things up. A couple of questions I've gotten before are, how do I share a whole folder as a template? You cannot do that right now, only individual designs. Um And uh, how do I save a design as a template? Well, you either do it internally brand, like make internal brand templates, or you share external ones to give to people. Olivia, how do I keep them organized? My good Lord in heaven, you've got to make projects and make folders. You're going to see over here that I'm working on a Canva uh, course, which is somewhere. What did I end up calling it? I don't actually remember what I... Let's go Canva. Oh yeah, let's go Canva. So I'm working on a course that is coming out very soon with tons of starter templates for you guys. They're very orange so that you can see them in your account. Um, lots of starter templates and I can't share this whole folder as a template, unfortunately. I will have to give everybody each individual link. Um, alrighty, now I did promise, now how on earth, that's the video, but if you want to stick around for a little bit of a bonus, um, how on earth do I even use these document mockups? Like, what do I do, Olivia? Well, first you go uh, find a document, which for me is going to be an SEO course that I got coming up soon, which is somewhere. Let's go SEO course workbook. Let's say I want to advertise this. It's not called SEO. It, this, this is any, ignore this, but you're going to come up here on the top right to share um, and then download. Now, normally it's going to say, hey, it's a PDF. It's a PDF document, but I actually want a PNG because I want each of these individual as a PNG. So I'm going to hit download and then we're going to wait and we're going to hydrate while we wait. You're gonna see here now that it's like, hey, we're saving this as this SEO workbook. Down, I use Google Chrome, so down here at the bottom left, you're gonna see Let's Go SEO Workbook. I'm gonna open this up in Finder, which is because I'm on a MacBook. And yay, now I have all of these pages as individual pages, which is awesome. So I'm gonna head back over to this document mockups. Um, I actually really love this this one. I think it looks like there's like a million things. So I'm gonna grab like 10 of these and put them in my uploads folder. Don't yell at me, I know. This is a one-time uploads folder thing. This is a one-time thing now. Now I'm going to just drag all of these over. Yay, I want my cover to be right there. I want this cute graphic. We're gonna duplicate that graphic because it's really cute. Look at that. Fancy. 
fancy, 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 da da da. And now I have a beautiful mock up. I want a little bit more contrast in the background, so I'm probably gonna make it like pink or like a darker beige. And then if you don't want the black outline, just make it the same color. And then you can use the paintbrush tool. Don't forget, paintbrush tool, and then you can um, drag that over the whole thing to make all of that really quickly. Not. This would actually be really cute with a green background, but then it would make my cover one disappear, which I don't know if I'm mad at. That's cute. Look how cute. She's cute. And doesn't that make you want to download this SEO document whenever it's done? All right, guys, this one got a little long. Hopefully that was really helpful. Lots of tips in one. We've got the three different types of templates. Uh, I'm going to be breaking these down in future videos because I know it's really confusing, but hopefully that cleared up a little bit of template mystery. See you next time. Oh, 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 oh